greatly and been whatever the distinguished scientists, all of them had said, this one common statement is, they are always talk about future, future generations. We are just nothing but torch bearers for a certain time, and we give the baton to the next generation. And for me, I want this Andhra Pradesh, as a part of one of the state of uh, Indian Federation, to make sure we want to contribute for national well-being, national prosperity, and uh, national scientific temperament. And we want to be significant, we want to play a significant role. And we want to take inspiration from the distinguished, distinguished uh, scientists, the unsung heroes, uh, heroes who are sitting here. We want to take inspiration from you. People know me, but we want to understand what you go through in creating something, I mean, letting something go up in the orbit. What you go through, these kind of stories really inspire the next generation. Sometimes you should tell us, like a TED talk or something like that. You have to have uh, some kind of platform, maybe a, a platform like this. Each distinguished scientist would come here. And if you tell them a, a, a good amount of uh, young audience, I think they'll get inspired. I hope we could have this kind of interactions. That's the only way we can inculcate that uh, scientific temperament. So I request you to tell your stories. And especially Manandra Madhanjaskal in the Sastra Vetalake, we don't know what kind of hardships they go through. Missions, Though their homes are right here, they could not meet their children. They're completely preoccupied. Even they are at home, they are not at home. So I know I can understand the gravity of each, uh, the situation, personal life of each scientist. I, I, beyond empathy, I cannot say anything. But I'm telling you, you have really, really sacrificed for nations, and we are grateful to you. We are grateful to you. Maybe you must have a lot of, uh, you know, how I can understand. Okay, 10 years I didn't see my kids. I'm witnessing them. Maybe a part of them wanted to uh, sit beside me. I said, I can't hug them because they're taller than me. So I can understand how each scientist must have lost, been missed their family, their kids and their family members. And what kind of issues must have arised at home. So I'm telling you, it's all this for what? It's not just for money, it's not just for a salary, it's not just for a monthly salary. It is for the love for the nation, love for the land. Just unless you are a great patriot, you won't go through this grinding. There's no need to go through this grinding. You salute yourself for all your hardships. You whistle, sir. Walake. Walake,